Hello. Tonight you're going to be working on something called the Sieve of Eratosthenes. Eratosthenes was a Greek mathematician who was born in 276 BCE and he used a hundreds chart similar to the one that um, you received today in class and he marked it up and upon doing so when he was finished he had figured out what all of the numbers um, that were not divisible by 2, 3, 5, and 7 less than 100 were, and those numbers we'll talk about in a minute. So you're going to need your hundreds board, four colors, or four designs for how you can are going to be marking up your chart. You can pause this video at any time. So the first thing that I need for you to do, please, is I need for you to cross out the number 1. We're not doing anything with the number 1 because number 1 divides into all numbers, and if we did something with number 1, We'd have our whole board marked up. So what I need for you to do, please, is I need you to circle the number 2. So you're going to circle the number 2, and then you're going to cross out all of the multiples of 2. And while you're doing this, because if we've had this week of um, math inspiration and so forth, whoops, that should be black, week of math inspiration, we've been talking about patterns that show up in numbers. And so we're going to look for the patterns. So while you're crossing these out on your chart, and these are this is the first question that you're going to be answering um, for your homework, is why is it that um, these numbers create this pattern? And what would you call this pattern if you were going to describe it to somebody? Ooh, when I crossed out all the multiples of two except two, this is what I saw on my hundreds chart. So please um, be thinking about that as you go through. And remember, when you answer questions, you need to answer com in complete sentences. So you would start with the question. So I noticed um, when I was crossing out all the multiples of two that I saw that this pattern in my chart and so forth. Okay. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to change colors and kind of change design. So I'm going to circle the number three. And I don't know why this insists upon being blue. So I am going to circle the number three. And... Um, when I circle the number three, then I'm going to cross out all of the multiples of three. And I'm going to do this in a different way. So I'm going to go in an opposite direction. So while you're looking at this, now I want you to be thinking, hmm, what do I see happening? What patterns do I see occurring when I'm crossing out these multiples of three? And you can write down more than one pattern that you see when you're looking at your chart. So go ahead and work your way through the rest of the chart. Okay. So what do you notice now when you look at the chart? What do you see? What kind of patterns developed? Why are some things marked twice? All right. And then the next thing you're going to do is you are going to choose a different color and you are going to circle the number five and then you're going to cross out all the multiples of five. And let's do that one vertically so that we don't um, have any kind of mix-up. So now you should be seeing another pattern. So what do you notice when you cross these out and continue on through your chart? All right, and then the last number that we're going to be working with is 7. So please circle the number 7 and then cross out all the multiples of 7 and we'll do squiggles for 7. So numbers that are multiples of 7 will have squiggles. So continue that through your chart. So Eratosthenes did this, and when he did this, he observed that there were some numbers left over, and there are 25 numbers left over. So if you could write the four numbers that you circled, as well as the other numbers that are not um, circled down, or, squig or marked out, rather, um, please go ahead and do that. And then you're going to be answering some questions for me. So I'd like you to look through and um, answer these questions. Remember you're answering in complete sentences. So what did you see the first time, second time, third time, fourth time through the chart? And then you've got these um, questions. Look at the number 30. What do you notice? Are there any other numbers and so forth? And answer all that. And then finally, you're going to go to number eight and write that down in your notebook. Thank you so much for watching and for doing this activity. Have a good night.